A lot of young people today don't believe in the future. We have marketing studies from Coca-Cola in 1994 that said that young people today have a keen sense of diminished expectations. They have a low outlook, intense anxiety about the future. A lot of young people today are worried they're not going to live very long. Time magazine, May 3rd, 1999, said 50% of children ages 9 to 17, a Yankelevich partner study said that 50% of kids aged 9 to 17 are worried they're not going to live very long. Something's wrong with this picture. Because if a lot of young people feel that the future is looking dim, well, why not use drugs? Why not use alcohol? Why not smoke? Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that the future is looking incredible. The future holds wondrous things for us. First, if you have those feelings, talk to somebody about it. Talk to somebody. Don't turn your back and isolate and try and do it alone and walk away. Talk to somebody. Talk to your parents. If you can't talk to your parents, you talk to a trusted teacher. You talk to the school counselor. You don't carry around a, a deep, dark secret all by yourself. It's too hard and it's too costly. Talk to somebody about it. It's by talking about our problems and our difficulties that we heal our problem. That's how we heal best. I can't bring my father back. I can't bring the sadness and the grief and the anger I feel back. But by talking about my anger, by talking about my sadness, about that to another person I heal. So talk about what's bothering you. Number two, while it's good to talk about negative things we're feeling and thinking, it's also good to affirm the positive and to try to think positive as well. I can't get a job in the future. There won't be a good job out there for me. There will be a great job out there for me. We ban those negative thoughts and try and bring in positive ones if we're having too many negative thoughts. I'm not going to go say hello to that person. They wouldn't like me anyway. I am going to say hello to that person. And even if they don't like me, I'll have fun saying hello. I could never own my own business. I can own my own business one day if I want to. I will go to a community college. I will study small business management and I will learn and I will have my own business one day. I can't do it. I can do it and so on. Number three, what is wealth? Is wealth about material things? We live in a society that has ads bombarding us from television every day telling us that we've got to buy this new car, we've got to have this new thing. Wealth is not about material things entirely. It's about the time we share with our parents. It's about the love we get at home. It's about the incredible sad times and the happy, intense, joyous times we have with our friends. It's about communing with nature and going outside on a cold winter's day and saying yes to life. It's about communing with God. That's wealth. Sometimes if you enjoy a little time alone and are okay with it, that's wealth. Finally, I want to share with you today my faith, my intense faith that there's something wonderful coming in this 21st century. But whatever you believe, and whatever you believe, and whatever you believe, and whatever you believe, and whatever all of you believe, I want to share with you my faith, my rock-solid faith, that there are wondrous things coming in this 21st century of ours. And we're going to need to hold on to our health and not smoke and not drink and not do drugs because we're going to need our health, every bit of it, in those wondrous and amazing years ahead. <laughs>